Duncan Kennedy, BBC South Today. Well, he certainly lives up to his nickname, doesn't he? The Flying Fish. Now, Alexis joins me with the weather. Now, Alexis, it didn't feel like summer today. No, it's been quite cloudy today. We had a breeze as well, so feeling quite fresh out there for, for the time of year. And we've had temperatures reach a high of maybe around 22 Celsius in any brighter spells, but we've had a lot of cloud, as you can see from this weather watcher picture taken in Appleton in Oxfordshire. And another cloudy scene in Berkshire. This was Reading, photographed by one of our weather watchers. So as we head through the day tomorrow, we're expecting quite breezy conditions. Conditions. There will be some heavy thundery showers, but also some sunshine in between those showers, and those showers will move through quickly. A band of rain will move through overnight tonight. There could be the odd heavy burst on that band of rain. Clearer skies behind, one or two showers dotted about, and a brisk southwesterly wind. Temperatures tonight will dip away to around 11 degrees. So tomorrow we wake up with lots of sunshine first thing. Then the showers start rolling in on that brisk breeze. We could see the old rumble of thunder with the showers. They will be hit or miss. Some areas could stay dry altogether. But they may merge together to form longer spells of rain and they'll move through quickly on that brisk breeze with temperatures reaching a high of 20 Celsius. So over the weekend, we're expecting cooler temperatures than recent days. Further showers tomorrow night are a possibility. A lot of dry weather can be expected as well. Still the risk of the old rumble of thunder and a low tomorrow night of 9 Celsius. So there will be a stronger wind blowing on the, through the course of Sunday. Brisk southwesterly winds. Gusts may be widely of between 35 and 40 miles per hour. We could see one or two showers for western areas. A lot of dry weather is expected, some decent spells of sunshine as well. Then let's cast your minds back to Saturday, which is tomorrow. We do have the Round the Island race, which starts at 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock, a later time than normal. We'll have some sunny spells, but also squally showers as well. Let's take a look at the winds expected during the race tomorrow. So to start with, they are south-southwest to southwest, 12 to 16 knots, gusting up to 80 knots at the start. By noon, backing south-southwest 12 to 16 knots, and by the afternoon, backing southerly 12 to 16 knots, then easing as we head towards the end of the race. So we do have a lot of sunshine over the weekend, but there will be those heavy thundery showers. They'll be more frequent during the course of Saturday. The old rumble of thunder is possible. Very brisk winds over the weekend. They'll be stronger as we head through Sunday, and there could be some sharp showers on Sunday, but a lot of dry weather as well. Still the risk of a shower as we head into next week week. That's through the course of Monday. Make perhaps some rain at times through the course of Tuesday. Do send us your weather pictures, southweather at bbc.co.uk. And Jenna. Alexis, thank you very much. Now, as we close the programme, I'm afraid I have some very sad news to share with you all. Earlier today, our much-loved colleague Harry Gratian collapsed and died. Harry partnered Sally on the South Today sofa for four glorious years in the late 1990s before returning to his Yorkshire roots at BBC Look North. Harry was someone who had a prolific BBC career and was a natural broadcaster. Next week, we'll take the time to pay tribute to him. But tonight, our hearts go out to Harry's wife, Helen, and their three boys and all of Harry's family and friends. Well, that's it from Alexis and me and the rest of the South Today team. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Good night.